Good morning, everyone. It's Cass. Uh, today, I was going to clean out all of my fountain pens, or most of them anyway, and re-ink up a few because I have way too many inked up right now. And I was feeling a bit froggy, so I thought I would make a currently inked video for you since it also has been forever since I've posted a video. So uh, let's just get into it. I'm going to be using uh, the Sansen Tomoe River paper for writing. If you have not tried this paper, I highly recommend trying it. It is delightful to write on. It is very similar to the original Tomoe River paper, and I'm very, very picky with paper, and I am I'm very happy with this paper. So if you really loved the old stuff, I think you'll really like this one. I do anyway. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so we're going to zoom in here, and we're going to start with... Uh, let's see, we'll start with this one. So this is a pilot vanishing point in matte black. I don't know if I've shown this on the channel yet. This is new to me. I uh, bought it, where did I get it? From Vanessa Pins. I have owned a few vanishing points in my life and I always ended up selling them or returning them because they were just too heavy, but I really love the design and I, I really wanted to make them work. And I have gotten more used to heavier pens lately, so I am able to use this for longer periods of time and still be able to write comfortably. So that's why I bought it. Um, I had been using my Lamy 2000 more, which is on the heavier end of my pens, which I'm sure a lot of people don't think that the Lamy 2000 is very heavy, but it is to me. Um, I usually don't use pens that are over like 22 grams or so. And so this one is 30 grams. So this is much heavier than what I've been used to, but I had started using the Lamy 2000 more, which is 25 grams, I believe. And I got used to that. And so this is much easier to write with. So I'm, I really love this pen a lot. I, I love the Pilot Vanishing Point design. It's wonderful. Uh, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection now. All right, enough talking. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the Pilot vanishing point. And this has a fine gold nib. I think these are 14 karat, but I'm not sure. Uh, this has the rhodium nib. I bought this pen. Oh, I didn't buy it from Venice Pens. I bought it from Pensachi because Pensachi was the only retailer I could find that sold the matte black with a rhodium nib. Everywhere else uh, in America, anyway, that I found only sells this pen with the uh, black nib. And I don't like the look. I prefer the black with the silver. I think it looks really, really nice. I like the contrast a lot, how bright that nib is compared to the body. So I bought this from Pensachi. My apologies. And the ink is Airbon Fair Olive. This is a really pretty ink. It does, the, the name is very fitting. It does look like kind of like dark olive oil or an olive skin. Very, very pretty. So, pilot vanishing point. Um, up next is my Lamy 2000. This is a very classic pen. I'm sure everyone has seen this. This has an extra fine nib. And this is also gold and also 14 karat, I believe. And this is inked up with Deatramentus Tungsten Purple, which I have a video where I did a review of Tungsten Purple. This is a very, very beautiful purple. The light's probably really bad. I have terrible lighting in this room. I have the window open right next to my desk and I have a bunch of artificial light, so it's probably like really ugly looking. <laughs> I apologize for that. Okay, uh, next is my Caveco All Sport in black. I bought this. I also don't know if I've shown this on the channel. I may have, I don't know. I bought this at Atlas Stationers whenever my boyfriend and I went to Chicago uh, earlier this year. No, it wasn't this year, we went last year. Yeah, we went last year. Okay, so I bought, man, has it already been a year? When did we go? Wow, 
was last year. Okay, well, time flies. <laughs> I did not realize I've had this pen for this long. So um, I I don't use it that much, much actually. I have thought about selling it, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just not using it a lot. I'm going to clean it out today, and I don't know if I'm going to re-ink it. But yeah, Quebeco All Sport. And this has a fine steel nib. This nib is really, um, really nice, so it's super smooth. It's probably the best Quebeco nib I've tried out of the box. I didn't have to do anything to this nib. It, it writes really, really well, very smoothly and very wet. And this is De Atramentus Aubergine, which is my favorite purple ink. I love that sound. Mm, clicky and metal and I, just, I like the way that sounds uh, I think it bothers some people I've heard other people comment how they don't like that sound but I like that sound uh up next we will do my pilot Pereira this is the ivory color this is one of my cheapest pens that I use regularly and it's probably one of my best writers Honestly, if not the best. This nib is just ridiculous. It is amazing. I love it. It is so, so smooth. It has a fine steel nib. And this is Noodler's Heart of Darkness. Which is a very basic, good black ink. I like the click. All right. Uh... Now we have my Faber-Castell Loom. Oh, I think my Pilot. Ooh, oh my. Okay, so there's ink coming out of here. Oh, it's in the cap, I bet. Yeah, when I post it. Okay, I'll clean that off in a bit. So, Faber-Castell. <laughs> This is a Faber-Castell Loom. This is uh, one of my favorite designs for a fountain pen. I love how modern and sleek it looks. I love these colors. I love the black with the brown with the gunmetal trim. It's really, really pretty. And I don't have a Faber-Castell nib on here. I have a Ferris wheel press nib that I transplanted from um, the Carousel fountain pen. And these nibs are really, really nice. I really like this nib. It's very smooth and it fits perfectly in this pen. So, Feather Castell Noom. And this is a fine steel nib. And I have Diamine Washable Blue in here, which is a wet, I believe it's wet. I feel like it's wet. It's a wet ink, which is nice. I love wet inks. And it's a very boring ballpoint colored ink. Like ballpoint blue ink. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, this lighting. I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. It looks so dark. All right. Uh, next, we have my Delta Unica, which I pretty much always have inked up. This, uh, I put the original nib back on here and I don't, I don't, I don't know why I took this nib off. This nib is delightful. I don't know why I kept swapping nibs out when the original nib is great. Maybe because it was kind of broad. I don't know. So this is a Delta Unica. This nib is a fine steel nib and the ink is color verse. Milky Lavender, which has become one of my favorite inks. It goes down, it, I don't know, it looks kind of weird there. I put my finger there so my oil, my hand oils are there. But it goes down usually like a warm purple. That looks super dark. I don't even know if you can tell. But it goes down kind of like a warm pinkish purple. Uh, at least on the original Tomoe River paper. It didn't really do that on here. But it, it's really pretty. I really like this purple a lot. Okay, and now we have my Pelican M205 Amethyst. This is one of my favorites. 
I bought this from Peyton Street Pens. I, it was a, just a miracle from God that I was able to find this pen for like retail price, what it originally sold for. And I snapped it up and here it is. And I did have to tune the nib myself. Um, the nib wrote like garbage, but it writes really, really well now. And I've had this inked up with Mont Blanc Petit Prince Rose Burgundy for quite a while. I think it's a very good match. This nib is super wet, so it goes well with the uh, Rose Burgundy ink, which is slightly dry. And it's a fine steel nib. Hmm, Milky Lavender is feathering a bit. Interesting. Yeah, that looks a little different on the Sansin than it does the original. Anyway, uh, next we have my Parker 51. So I really loved this pen when I bought it. I was really into broad nibs and it had a medium nib, a super, super juicy, wet, super smooth medium nib, and it wrote like a broad, and I really loved it when I bought it. I still love it. I've always loved it, but I kind of moved away from broader nibs and um, went to finer nibs and extra fines, and so I stopped using it. I wasn't using it for a long time, and I finally sent it to a nibmeister who said that they could not work on it because they couldn't separate the nib from the section or something to do with the glue or shellac or something. And so I sent it to a different nibmeister who was able to separate it to grind the nib. And it's not as broad as it used to be, but I really wouldn't call it an extra fine. I asked um, them to grind it down to an extra fine. And it writes more, probably like a medium, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. I still... I'm using the pen a lot more. It's more tolerable than it was when I first bought it, as far as the nib size goes. Yeah, that's maybe like a medium fine. Maybe I'm exaggerating. So this is a Parker 51. It's a plum from 1949. And it has... Uh, I'm just going to put extra fine because that's what I asked for. I don't, I don't know if I consider it extra. I don't know. Anyway, and I have the Atramente Aubergine in here. And this pen is super wet, so that almost looks black, but it is definitely purple. The paper looks blue on my video because of the shitty lighting, so I, I don't even know if you can tell what the others look like. Uh, okay, last pen. My... Probably my favorite pen in my collection now. This this pen has become my favorite, I think. This is my Pelican M605 Tortoiseshell Black. And it is so, so beautiful. I love this pen to death. It is so, so beautiful. And um, I have swapped the nib out. Sacrilegious, I know. For a Ferris wheel press nib that writes way better than the original. And I do like the engraving on it. It's a little carousel horse. Really pretty. So I have this inked up with something quite strange for me. This is Ferris wheel press Oyster Hour, which is a newer ink from them from the Finer Things collection. I've really been into like beige sepia toned inks lately and when I say lately I mean like the past two weeks and I've ordered a few samples from different places I was really loving uh Monarca or Ana Blanca but it was kind of light so I was looking for something a little darker and this ink is a little darker but it looks very similar 
and I'm going to do um, maybe an ink comparison video because I have like five sepia inks uh, soon where I compare those so you can see if anyone's interested in sepia inks like that. But anyway, I really like this one. I might buy a bottle because I really, really do like it. Okay, so this is Pelican M605. That was a rat that's right, stress them on. <laughs> Black tortoise shell tortoise tortoise shell uh and this has this is technically a fine steel nib can you see what i'm writing and it is ferris wheel press oyster hour i really like the name too i have never eaten an oyster nor will i ever but i like the name for some reason so yeah, oh my gosh, look at that pen. I love the barrel. I am so happy with the pattern I got. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love the prominent black stripes throughout because it really gives it more depth, I think, than if it was just like this, just all the way around. I know a lot of people were wanting pens like with that pattern all the way around. I'd seen posts of people like saying they were disappointed that they had like these black stripes, but I freaking love this. It is, oh my gosh, I just, I cannot describe to you how much I love this pen. <laughs> I'm so happy I bought it. it. It has become my favorite. I use it all the time. I carry it with me. I hope nothing bad ever happens to it. I will, I'll, I'll keep it forever. <laughs> I just love this pen so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, that's enough. So those are all my currently inked pens that have enough ink in them to actually write. I know that was not a very in-depth video and it was kind of quick and this doesn't look super aesthetic, but whatever. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, I love that Oyster Hour ink. That is so beautiful. It looks super vintage, like something you'd see in an old book. Mm, I'm gonna try to put it I'm gonna put it in another pen too I'm really liking that okay anyway thank you for watching I'll see you next time bye